What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. We're gonna take you to the Ontario Fermentation Festival. Let's go. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Y'all a brewheads? Yeah, we brewheads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. So yeah guys, we just got here to Picton. It's kind of like, I know from Montreal, it took us about three and a half hours to get here. Scotty's inside, so I don't know if you can see that big ass building back there. So basically today, we're covering the festival. Um, they, they do not just beer, there's a beer and wine area, but they do everything to do with fermentation. So sauerkraut, um, kombucha, which Tiff and I recently just got into, so we're excited about that. And we're gonna be doing two things. As they, uh, we're judging a homebrew contest shortly. And um, the second thing is a brewer's panel. So we're gonna be interviewing three different brewers. Funnily enough, one of them we're doing a podcast with after this, and the second one of the other brewers we were trying to do a podcast with tomorrow, but timing didn't work out. So it should be fun. So let's go find Scotty. Blah. Alright y'all, so we're here at the fest, linked up with Scotty, and this is Ryan, he is the man, so we're staying uh, at Ryan, at Parker's place. Say hi Parker. Hi. <laughs> what up? Pleased to have you. Thank you sir, you are a gentleman and a scholar. So we just uh, checked out the area, this is the beer garden, Ontario Fermentation Festival 2017. So who we got in the beer garden? Um, Tell us about the beer garden, who we got? Uh, we got a few brews, some Just local brews. Uh, we got Prince Eddie. We okay. got they're um, new, they're new guys, right? They're pretty new, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got Barley Days, and we got Five Five Five. Beauty. Uh, Bose is also hanging out today. Uh, got lots of food. I heard there's some sausage over there. Sausage. Pizza. 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 pizza looks ridiculous. Oh, and pizza. They got like a uh, wood fire pizza. Check oh, that wow. out. That's pretty cool. They got a that looks uh, and everything. What is that? Can you say fire and flames? Fire and flames. Fire and flames. And a cabbage toss, which I'm gonna play a later. Cabbage toss. It looks pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Is that like a, a game of? I think it's like. Bowling. There's a bunch of kids it's there. I may just throw cabbage at kids. But, it's yeah. like pagan. Oh, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be yeah. too, for sure. Yeah. But also, there's beer here and lots of other ferments, such as sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Kombucha. Kim kimchi, kombucha. Oh, kimchi as well, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to the kombucha TBH because uh, Jeff and I just got into that recently and it's, it's good for your guts. Super good. But, all right, I guess we'll go find Jenna and we'll get ready for this uh, homebrew. Uh, yeah, let's do it up. Bam. Look. Yeah, it's a, a, a true West Coast IPA. Literally smashed with yeah, Centennial. Alright guys, so this is a uh, a rural Ontario game that I'm just learning about. Uh, they're calling it Veggie Bocce, like that Italian game. Scotty. So what the goal of the game? <laughs> Scotty's gonna tell us about it. <laughs> so what the goal of the game? <laughs> what are you doing? I, I, I said, is that right? Is it? No, but we're gonna play it this way. Oh, uh, okay. So as a German, oh. I know how to throw cabbage. Pretty good at it. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a kraut. So As they say, at a fermentation festival. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is set up the cans with the bottles or whatever they may be. Yeah. I'm gonna fit. throw overhand cabbages at said bottles. Overhand. Yeah. 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 And uh, watch us. All right. So I'm like pitching a baseball. You go first. Oh damn! <laughs> Once. He doesn't even have a good back and he's slaying it. Okay, now it's the children's turn.
So we have a whole bunch. It's uh, can you see that there on the table right there. Lots of bottles. We'll take that out. Tops. Uh, I'm excited because this dry hop fills this sparkling wine and this is mean. Um, a little bit of everything. I'm ready for it. I'm prepared. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can deal with that. Kind of like honey. Again, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting like a huge like wine, like uh, okay. wine chardonnay, chardonnay, yeah, but that full-bodied like, white wine. I like the uh, first. I think this one, yeah, is like really that good. One? The, the dry oak because you yeah. get a little bit of the oak, but not so much that it's overpowering. Anyway, so I'm gonna let everybody introduce themselves. We're gonna get fired up here in a moment. Yeah, there's a lot of people yeah. who just heard that it's about to start, so they're chugging their beers. There's gonna be people wandering in. But uh, thanks so much for our awesome panel of brewers, beer experts. Yeah. This is C certified brew head. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Scott, your cold beer enthusiast. Yeah. Yeah. Canada. I'm Richard, I'm one of the owners of Scarpin Labs. We supply yeast to all of your favorite craft breweries. Yeah! 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 Pay attention when we do our podcast. People really like to hear the stories of how people got into the brewing. And you, know, got, you guys have a quite a varied uh, uh, what do you call it? professions up here. So if you guys could, um, What's up? who are you and what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what inspires you? Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. From all our podcasts, we've noticed a lot of the brewers have said. Upcoming trends are loggers are going to come back, pilsners are going to come back, these light styles that we've kind of went away from because they've become so macro now, as we call them, are going to become popular again, but they're going to be done in a craft style, so we're not going to be using adjuncts like, uh, you know, uh, flaked corn or wheat and stuff like that. We're going to use all malted barley and it's going to be made true to style and it's going to be trendy again. And well, if you look at um, the BJCP guideline, which is like the standard the standard worldwide guide for beer judging. Um, the amount of lager is huge, um, especially if you're looking at like a really good German lager. There's like, what, 12 different styles of German lagers. Um, and that's the kind of flavor that's coming back. Um, we did a, a tasting of all these homebrews over here, and we decided our top three. Number three is the dry hopped Pilsner. Number two. Kiwi field berry sparkling wine. And number one, drum roll please. The Wild Oak Imperial Pilsner by Dylan Lutz. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. We just wrapped up our first ever live, uh, I guess we call it a live podcast. We kind of. Record it. Live panel, live, live podcast. Panel. Yeah. How'd you feel about it? It was exciting. It was fun to see people's responses on the spot. And yeah. we kind of did it in a podcast style where we're asking similar questions. We did a lightning round. Yes. And uh, we had a variety on the panel, which was kind of cool. Yeah, we, we had, had um, Richard from Escarpment Labs, which is a yeast company based in Toronto. We had uh, Brett from Barley Days, who's a brewer. We had Justin from Stone City in Kingston, also a brewer. And we had Cat from uh, Brunswick in Toronto, also a brewer. All fantastic people. We will highly like it. We'll be doing the podcast right now with Brett at Bali, uh, from Bali Days at Prince Eddie. Yes, Prince Eddie. We're doing like a, a Picton Prince Edward County, like sort of like a nice like overview of the area. We're getting three brewers from the area in one podcast. So we're excited for that. But yeah, everything was super cool. Yeah, that was represent really for the Ontario Fermentation Festival, the first. The very first. This is the first year running. You heard it here first. It's going to blow up. It's yep. really cool. You, you got different, you got kimchi, you got sauerkraut, you kombucha, got beer, wine, kombucha, beer, all that wine, fun stuff. Just, so. uh, like a liquor and stuff. It yeah. was super dope. So huge shout out to Jenna for um, like having us and reaching out and uh, you know giving us the opportunity to do this. This was really a lot of fun. So I really hope we get 
more opportunities to do these live. Um, that was cool, man. It was uh, kind I of really out, of our, out of my comfort zone, but I really liked you it. You killed it, bro. It was like, fun, and you were really comfortable. It was like talking something. about stuff in front yeah. of people and stuff. And people were asking from the crowd, were asking, like, yeah. you know, valuable questions. There was some interaction, but good times, good beer, yeah, man. and good really people. Fun. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so that's it. Thank you so much for uh, watching the vlog today. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Subscribe, hit that little notification bell so we can let you know when uh, we got some new shit coming out. Uh, follow us on social media at BOS Podcast. And of course, you want to hear the long form. You want to hear the long form, man. Of course, they do. Get in it. Uh, hit us up on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, on uh, TuneIn, on uh, Mixcloud, all of that. It's all there. Anything you listen to things on, that's where, that's where you listen to us. Yo. Holla at us. That's it, y'all. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace.